My name is Caesar, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about airport tips, tricks, and hacks from first time flyers to intermediate to people that fly all the time. I got tips for you guys. I've been on over dozens of flights from private, commercial, and military. Any products or resources are gonna be linked down low in the description box. First tip is do not do curbside check-in unless you guys are running real late because there is a fee or tips is strongly enforced. I used it one time without knowing that it was gonna be a price tag to it. So it was $10 and that was $10 too much because all I had to do was walk 50 feet into the airport and check my bags in for free. Next hack is to use a reusable water bottle. I bring one every time. Just make sure it's completely empty when you go through security checkpoint of TSA. It's completely empty. Then next to the bathrooms, they usually have a drinking fountain or purified water. That's where I go. I fill up my water bottle and I'll have it for the airplane and it'll be ready to go. If not, if they have a Starbucks at your airport, you could actually fill it up for free. So consider that because water bottles at the airport is ridiculous it's four dollars or just for a water bottle so this hack is going to save you guys some money get ready to go through security while you're waiting in line so what i do i take off my belt my cell phone and i put everything in my carry-on backpack that way i'm ready to go you could even loosen up your shoes if you have a laptop take it out of its case and put it in its own thing that way tsa recommends it and they can just check it faster one thing that I do is I bring a TSA pre-approved case that has my gels and it has my lotions and all that good stuff. And what it is is you have to have it within a quart size bag. So this one I bought from Amazon and I recommend it and it gets you through security without a problem. These tips help you go through line faster and it'll save a couple hundred bucks from not being late to your next flight. If you are bringing any bottles with liquids in it, it has to be smaller than three ounces. So the one I recommended is smaller than three ounces. You cannot have a bottle that's six ounces and then just have a little bit in there where it's just like that one ounce and say, hey, it's just one ounce. That is not gonna fly. No pun intended. The quart size bag has to be clearish, so does the bottles and that clearly states on the TSA website, no pun intended. Okay, that's my last one, I promise. Next power tip is to get TSA PreCheck. This is a trusted traveler program. You have to go through a background check. They'll check you out, you get approved, and you go through a different line. So instead of waiting in that long line where everybody's at, you get to not make this short line TSA pre-check. You don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to take your jacket off. You get through a lot quicker than everybody else. Make sure your boarding ticket says TSA pre-check. That's how you know you have it. You just show it to the TSA and they'll let you right through. So a step up from TSA pre-check is global entry. Global entry is mainly for international flights. On the back of your card, it says the pass ID and you put that in whenever you're booking your flight. So you get pre-check and you get a faster pass when coming back from an international flight. It also works if you're going through car or on foot to Mexico or to Canada. So be on the lookout for that. It'll save you some time and it's only $100 for five years. So I think it's definitely worth it. So another cool hack is Netflix now has a download option. So you could download your favorite show or your favorite movie and you could watch it on the airplane. That way you don't have to get the Wi-Fi package or if they're playing a movie you don't like, you could go ahead and watch that. Also, you could download an audiobook. I'll leave the link for Audible down in the description box below. You could listen to a book while you're relaxing on the plane. You could do that also. That way you don't have to buy that expensive Wi-Fi plan. Try to use the bathroom before you jump on the plane because who wants to use a stinky small airplane bathroom when you could use a nicer one at the actual airport? I try to limit my water intake, that way I'm not having to go to the bathroom when I'm inside the airplane. Make sure you download the app to whatever airline you are using, that way you could check your flight status to check if there's any gate changes. Um, you could actually check out to see what gate your layover is going to be at. So if you have a quick connection, make sure you're there and you're not late. 
sometimes they have perks if you download the airline app like we flew united and on united airline app you could actually stream movies and shows for free without paying for the wi-fi plan so it's good to download whatever airline you're using and see what kind of perks they have make sure you dress super casual for your flight i wear my sweatshirt my sweatpants and my running shoes my wife she usually wears her leggings and her jacket you guys have to make sure you have a sweater or jacket because it gets freezing cold once you're up in the plane and sometimes they don't have blankets for everybody usually just business class unless you're going on some kind of business meeting i don't see why you got to get all fancy and dress uncomfortable for your flight bring snacks and munchies you could bring it through TSA security and also it could hold you over that way you're not buying expensive airport food. If you're on a long flight or if you're on an overnight flight, make sure you bring your toothbrush and toothpaste. This could help you freshen up in the bathroom. This tip is not really for you, it's really for the people that's around you. So bring your toothbrush and your toothpaste. If you're using a digital boarding pass, make sure you take a screenshot and it's on your photos because if you don't have a good internet connection or Wi-Fi connection, you're not going to be able to log in real quick just to show them, just in case you have to show them quick. And I'm a more of an old school kind of guy. I like having my printed out boarding pass. So I have that with me just in case my phone dies or is dying. I like to have the actual paper copy with me make sure you bring a pin with you when you travel this will help you if you're flying internationally you could actually fill out your customs um, declaration form and who knows you might be one of the first ones since you have your pin ready to rock and roll and you could get through customs faster uh, having a pin is also good um, to fill out your tags just in case you want to throw one of those tags on your carry-on bag carry heavy items in your personal item bag because they never weigh them it's good to know the dimensions of the bags that you could bring on to your airline. So you could go to your airline's website, check the dimensions. That way your bag is not overdoing it and you're gonna have to pay extra if it's not within their size restrictions. The sooner you get on the plane, the more likely you're gonna have an overhead compartment right on top of you or in front of you. If you get on the plane late, you might have to put your bag all the way behind you and this is not good because you don't have a constant visual view of your bag. And then once you land, you're gonna have to go against the grain, against everybody to grab your bag. So make sure you're one of the first ones on if you wanna have a good overhead compartment. If you don't get an overhead compartment and everything's full, they're going to have to check your bag in. And depending on what airline it is, they're going to charge you extra. So make sure you're one of the first ones on the plane if you can and uh, try to have a small bag. You could also place your bag under the seat in front of you. So be aware of that. If you do not have a luggage yet, please do not buy a black bag. Everybody has black bags. Myself, I thought I was gonna be cool because I got a bag that has half black, half gray, but it, once it flips on the black side, it looks like every other bag. So do not buy a black bag when you're traveling. If you do have a black bag or another bag that looks common like everybody else's, they do sell straps and covers. So you could get those if you do have a black bag. That way nobody accidentally takes your bag. They sell carry-on bags that have the trolley sleeves. Um, this makes it easier to carry once you're carrying it on top of your roller bag. They also sell these things called J-hooks on Amazon. You just hook it onto your roller and then you put your bag on top of that. And so it's just easier to carry, especially if you're by yourself. Make sure the first thing you do once you get to the airport is make sure your gate is actually still your gate because they change frequently. And if you plan on sitting to a gate that's next year's because it's a little less crowded, make sure you don't both have both earphones in, just have one. That way you're listening for announcements, you're listening to see when you're actually boarding and you don't miss your flight. Is missing your flight worth a couple hundred bucks? Probably not. A great travel hack is to get a travel credit card that gives you points towards flights. Me and my wife, we have the Chase Sapphire Preferred and this flight from San Diego to Orlando was 100% free because we have the points. We spent $4,000 within the three months and they gave us our points and we cashed it in. We are going on a cruise right now so we are excited, we are ready to go and we're even happier because we didn't pay for our flight. 
If I missed the airport travel tip, please feel free to add it in the comment box below.